is the design of a porch that um, I built. It's kind of a unique design in a way that the customer wanted to be able to see the pickets on the outside of the screen and on the inside as well. A lot of people just put them on the inside. So we came out with this design where we put the pickets on the outside and then we sandwiched the screen in between that and a piece of lattice strip on the inside. And then if you look up at the top part, the screen's sitting offset. So the screen on this corner is inset because it has the pickets that are running flush with the decking railings. And up there, it's sitting that flush with the top side of the railing. Also did a custom color match, which included a solid stain with a semi-transparent stain over top. Built a set of eight foot wide steps with a concrete platform at the bottom. And if you look at the corners, the corners are like diagonal. They're at a 22.5 degree angle. Now the door is a PVC vinyl door. The screen is a very heavy gauge pet screen. If you look at the door, it has a pneumatic closer, so it doesn't slam shut. And we took the standard screen that came in the door out and replaced it with pet screen to match the rest. Also, I built a railing, a little, a little shelf around the top of the railing to be able to sit things. Everything's 45 fit together. These are 22.5 degree angles. You have some pretty crazy cuts right here. It's actually like two boards that go together. And these boards right here, they kind of fit together a little funny. Also, put co molding around the top and a little piece around the top to make it more sturdy. Here you can see the inside of those pickets. It's actually lattice strips that have been cut and painted and they go on that opposite side of the picket sandwiching the screen in between. So get back and get a more wider view of it. It took a lot of custom cutting to make this. And actually, today we just got done staining the deck. Also, you can't see it, but underneath of the deck is the same exact pet screen that's up there. And it's held on by a lattice strip under each one of the floor joists so that no bugs or anything can come up between the cracks and the floorboards. Put a little ceiling fan up there. I right hear it's going to be a place to sit a grill. So run a gas line from the natural gas utility and put an inlet right there through the deck. So I have a gas grill sitting right there against that side. And the idea is to be able to come out this door and walk straight to the grill. The color on the deck is called Riverwood. It's a Sherwin Williams product. And then we had a custom match made of coca shell. The cabinet discontinued. I had a little bit of it left, and I used it as a base solid stain to get the color they wanted. It's another look at it from the outside. They got 45 degree angle cuts, 22 and a half degree angles on the two corners. And we brought it out flush on the soffit so that they would give them an extra foot. And also there's cove molding around the top. You 
just one last little walk around of the port. And that's about it. That's about it. So the pickets look the same from the inside as they do the outside, and everything's lined up with the deck railing. Everything is made out of treated wood. And everything is individually custom cut. And we use the self-priming paint on all the railings and the beige colors that you see. I did not use any regular caulking. I used Phenoseal, which is a vinyl adhesive caulking that holds up a lot better. All the fasteners are Teflon coated screws, decking, and also galvanized fasteners to put this together. And the paint, Clarkson Kensington, self priming paint, two coats. And that's the end of our unique screen porch design that we built. Be sure to subscribe. And hopefully this will be a good idea for you if you want to build one similar.